can heal. You can see things. You know you don't choose to be the clever man. I know. You get chosen. The premise of the show, I, I guess, it is, is um, about two brothers um, who are about to be handed down a gift uh, of being the clever man, and um, one is chosen over the other, and it's sort of a, a battle between those two of how they deal with that. Mix that into a world where um, dream, dreamtime creatures live amongst us, um, and how the rest of the world deals with uh, creatures that live longer are stronger than us um, and, and throw all that into the one, the one world and, and we follow different journeys throughout that. Can we just accept that they are not sub anything, <laughs> that people... What you're really talking about <laughs> is the forcible removal of innocent people from their homes. This is a fair, fair um, comment. Mm. On, on how society uh, you know, views um, the Indigenous people. Without being overt, I think it's tackling issues um, on just accepting any minority groups, so whether that be refugee groups, because obviously that's been a contentious issue of the times, um, but also the stolen generation all around the world, you know, Native American stolen generation, African stolen generation, Indigenous stolen generation. Um, but mainly, I think, in its, in, in its essence, it's trying to shed light on the idea of accepting minority groups and the struggle to be accepted. The international community has accused us of violating human rights. But these creatures are not human. We do not share the same DNA. We don't know exactly what they are. This only reaffirms this government's commitment to keep these subhumans within the zone. I came up with the, the concept uh, about, you know, it's almost seven years now, I think. Uh, and it was an afternoon playing um, Ninja Turtles with my son. And I wanted to create something for him that, um, that he could connect to on a cultural basis. Today is the day we take back what belongs to us. It also, it's the idea of um, the hairy people. And so in Indigenous culture, there was always the idea of um, the hairy people um, and the notion that we lived alongside each other but never really interacted. Um, and then the idea is that they've now come out and said, we want to be a part of your culture and the result of that and what happens in you know, our Western society and how the government kind of deals with that and what comes from it. The hairy men are quite a universal story um, within all the Aboriginal countries within Australia. Um, you know, the, you, you can go far north Queensland and, and you know, so they're telling stories of a shorter, more mischievous hairy man. Um, you know, my country, um, they talk about it being uh, a, a stronger and a more uh, aggressive creature. Um, the benefit is that is, is, is we would go and obtain permission from different places to, to sort of create a, a, a hairy creature which is unique to the show. Are you, were you dealing with, um, you know, the kind of racism and you know xenophobia and people's fears of um, of of this new race of people, and um, because you know they're better than them, essentially. <laughs> and it's a great take on how I see and how Wayne and obviously me as the writer sees uh, society as it stands towards us. But to have something like this, clever man, which is rooted in traditional family and stories, you know what I mean? It's, it's, um, it's definitely, you know, a benchmark. Uh, this is right out of the loop, you know, a black, bold, brilliant take on society as it is, and I've been honoured to play the first clever man. The first Indigenous superhero put in this light with the powers and this like the huge set, the huge production, you know, the weapons, like I was carrying an axe at one point, it was awesome. Um, no, I don't think that's been done before. I think this is a really new, a new thing for Australian film and TV. Things like this are only going to spark ideas and have kids writing their own stories and finally putting themselves in these roles of, um, of being leaders. But everybody's telling me uh, they, they'll line up to see this one. The time for change is now!